Okay, this is what I was talking about in the Coastal Angler article. This is a dead pinfish we'd take off shore to group of fish with. But to make him much more appealing to the grouper, butterfly him. So take this, start at the back, go right up. and out the bottom. I turn him over, do the same thing on the top. And then go out the belly. Just like that. Now just break the backbone out. Just like that. So there's another bait. Perfect butterfly bait. And of course I like to fish these crab decoy jigs, but this one's for drum fishing near shore. Got the bridge of his nose, just like that. Hook this stinger hook in just like that. So there you go. Got those two nice fillets held on by the skull. And it looks like a crab. Caught him a pinfish. Alright. Good luck with that. And also, I'd like to uh, give a shout out to my friends there at Outdoor Edge. Really nice blade, nice folder. It fits in my bag. Nice blade. Alright. Good luck. Alright, this is another fish that we have a lot of here in North Carolina. Croakers. And they make great drum baits. They make excellent big drum baits. So let's do the same thing. Let's butterfly this croaker. Start at the back. Go all the way up. go through and out the belly and all the way back so now you've got that one fillet turn it over start at the back same thing all the way up the belly. Now just remove the spine. So there you got those two nice flaps of fillet just to held together by the head and of course the bomb is that crab decoy jig out the bridge of his nose. I'll just barely stick that stinger in there. And you don't really don't even need that stinger for big drum, okay? But I'm telling you, it catches everything else you'd fish for with this, everything. Those two nice fillets making a nice chum slick for you. That's a really effective bait. All right, I'm gonna go over how to butterfly a brim for a catfish bait. The shad are gone now, so I'm using brim. But just wanted to say a, a thank you to Outdoor Edge. They gave me this blade last year at iCast. And I have really got some good use out of it. It's really good metal. Once you sharpen it right, holds good edge. But what we're gonna do is just remove the backbone of this brim. So. Start at the tail, make a little slice, come all the way up, 
just like you're gonna flame except not just cut the ribs and punch blade through there and out the other side so that you just make that fillet flip him over do the same exact thing Cut the ribs. Come on. Ah. Pull his tail off. That's okay. Go in this way. Cut the ribs. Just go through and cut that little. Well, let's do it from the other side now that I did that. Messed that one up. Normally I don't, but. Cut that little bit off. Now just take his backbone and pull it out. Just like that. So that's all you got. That perfect brim, just two fillets held together by the head. And now that you're at that point, just take your weedless chin weight. This is a nine odd. I'm fishing for a little bit bigger fish today. Don't know if I catch one, but, but take this, put it just inside his mouth, about the bridge of his nose good. Just like that. So that's what you got.